Hello! So I am going to teach you all how to make a white chocolate and caramel macchiato. First, you want to make sure that um, you have enough water in your maker. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on so it can be heating up. Depending on how much coffee you want, you're going to put it in your maker here or drainer, whatever. Okay. And once you get your desired amount, you want to take the tip of it and just pack it just a little bit. Don't press too hard. Okay. okay. We wait until make sure that it's on the coffee. You no know, here. Make sure when it's green, it's ready to brew. Put your mug under and you want to turn it on to brew. So this will give me two shots of espresso. So I have the deeper cup in there right now. I usually like to bring mine up to about here for my four shots. Turn the knob here and I get ready to froth my milk and I press this button here to put it on my steamer and when that light turns green that's how I know my steamer is ready. Now that my green light is on for my frother I'm going to get my milk and I am going to add in my flavor. That's what a lot of people don't do. Put your milk in your flavor so when you froth it it'll mix really well with your macchiato in your espresso. Okay. Okay. And what you do is you put your hand on the cup. Right here, I have my left hand on the cup so that when it gets too hot to handle, that's when I know my milk is ready. Important things if you have one of these machines is to immediately clean this off whenever you get finished because if the milk stays on there and dries on there, it will be very hard to clean. So I immediately throw this in my dish water. Just and I get a wet paper towel or towel and I just clean this. You see that milk that is um, caked up on there from that frothing? You want to just, you know, gen generously wipe until all that is off because if it stays on there, it will be crazy hard to come off okay and you just want to make sure it's all off and what I like to do after I finish this is take my little cup that I pre just steam just to let all the old milk get out I do that once again to clean that with the old milk that may still be in there. now it's time to pour in our froth now something I am not a barista so that is a lot of bubbles for some people but what I like to do is take my coffee, tilt it a little bit, my espresso that is, and pour my milk and all of its ingredients inside. And there I have my beautiful caramel and white chocolate macchiato. Enjoy.